Uh, you know, I was thinking about, you know, the other day there was a, uh, a message that I shared. I actually did the prophecy on your program on election day about President Trump at the time. Yeah. Uh, the prophecy of Gad, where I said he was a judge. He'd lose in the beginning, but he'd win in the end. But one of the other things was uh, the prophecy of Asher that I attached to that. I did the message in 2015. And part of that prophecy, obviously, it said a troop is coming. And I jokingly said Donald Troop and fortune and blessing and prosperity. But yeah. the other prophecy that I read with Asher was he shall dip his foot in oil. And so the, the thing that Trump did was was open it up. He dipped his foot in oil. He was he, he released the oil reserves yes, of America, and the number one producer in the world. Now, I said this in 2015, and now as we shift over to the next vision, uh, you have one of the major stories that's being covered is the fact that oil now is being shut off. Yeah. So I thought it's amazing that that, that prophecy that, that I read about Asher in 2015 applying to 2016 now is being shut off as we step into 2021. And by the way, one of the things I said about 2021 is, you know, there is that connected uh, vision of, of, of Agenda 21 that, that the United Nations had. And I saw that and I thought, if Trump's election, elected, how's that going to play in? Well, the truth is, is that God knew all along that yeah. this Agenda 21, which now they've pushed off to uh, 2030, that's their vision to get it there, is uh, now starting to get to play out as rapidly as they can yes. in 2021. If you want to look, you know, you can go online and Google Agenda 21 and it'll give you the United Nations, even some meetings. And they said the, the major thing that stopped them from fulfilling the vision in 2021 was Donald Trump's election. They said that threw a big cog uh, in the wheel and stopped them from going there. But yeah. Agenda 21 is now back on the docket and uh, the oil aspect of it is done. But what you're seeing in America, Philip, and this is what I said in 2019, that 2020 would be a multi-generational, people asked me what that meant by multi-generational, I said, decisions are going to be made. It's a vision decision year, goes into 2021. So we're making decisions that have multi-generational ramification. Yes. yes. It's a decision year still. And you're, what, the, what the tension that people are feeling in America and have felt even back in 2019, which I said would be a year of wrestling. Uh, one of the things that I, I used the story of Naftali uh, one of the tribes, the tribe of Naphtali, his name means wrestling. And I said, 2019 will be a year of wrestling and people wrestled. 2020, there was a long list of things that I had shared about 2020, but also carrying over into 2021. But it's a multi-generational vision decision year. And I said, that somebody said, give me an example. And I said, well, the example I see in, in this, I said this in 2019, you're going to hear about socialism versus capitalism. Wow. And all through 2020, that's what you heard. I said it in 2019 because people asked me, what do you mean by that? I said, well, let me throw one up. Socialism versus capitalism. You're going to hear that battle. Well, now that battle in 2021 is very evident, has risen to the surface. Yes, it has. And the dynamic tension you feel in America is that vision decision battle. It's a battle between two visions, which is, by the way, division, two different visions that are battling. Yes. And who's going to come out on top? And so, you know, that's where I believe the prophetic comes in so uh, crucially because prophetic aspects of it are vision related. What do you see? What's the vision going to be? And vision is so crucial because we know without it, there are no boundaries. The boundaries are established and there's no blessing without God's law on that vision. But what's happening is, is you've got this battle that's going on and people are feeling that struggle. They don't like the feeling of that struggle, but visions are spiritual. They're spiritual yes. in nature. And, and they reveal, I, I, I share this with our church, that all decisions are, are made upon vision and that, that those uh, decisions reveal our viewpoint in life. That's the way we see things. And, and, and something the Lord gave me a, a, a long time ago, 
is that decision points of decision are holy. And I don't think we, I mean, when somebody comes to Christ, that's a holy decision. Mm. But the, when, when Israel came out of, of Egypt and they came to the point of entering into the promised land, they came to a place called Kadesh Barnea. Kadesh means holy, but Barnea means the place of decision. And the place of decision is a place of holiness. And mm. oftentimes decision places, uh, places of decision look like crisis. Uh, in fact, the word crisis or crisis is the place of decision in the Greek. So here they were at this very holy, solemn place of not realizing that that decision moment would determine the next 40 years of their lives. And so here we are, we have our own Kadesh Barnea. Yeah. As I said, 2020 would be a vision decision year that will be multi-generational. Oh and sometimes we don't see visions as being multi-generational. No. Or decisions no. having we just think We just think that it, we, we're trained to think that this decision is, is for now. And the fact of the matter is that what is being decided in the battle that is joined at this moment, and this is where the church has got to speak. This is where the church yes. has got to be heard. M most folk think that a decision is something that, you, you know, a snap decision. There's no such thing as a snap decision. Every, every decision you make is a holy point. It's like those plotter yeah. marks through your life. And the decision yes. points will determine whether you ascend to a closer walk with God and have a greater impact in the world, or if you descend. And um, I think that the decision points that are being made as we speak in this country are descending decision points.